Today we're launching the mobile TB diagnostic clinic, the first for South Africa, that is going to change the lives of many, many South Africans. An opportunity for more people to get tested, for us to find the missing TB cases. Many people may not be familiar with this, but there's something like 150,000 to 200,000 uh, newly ill people with tuberculosis that are undiagnosed and undetected in the country every year. And so this, re this partnership is really about uh, getting mobile clinics out into the community yes. and they are equipped with cutting edge DNA detection technology uh, where testing can be done on site uh, in people and uh, the results are given to them and they're linked up with care. I think I'm really proud of the fact that Novartis has found an opportunity to partner with the Department of Health in this instance, to partner with the UCT Lung Institute. Um, I think it's the way forward. I think we're going to see more private-public partnerships taking place because I believe that we all have a role to play in the future health care of this country. So this is our team. Our teams are usually made up of three people. The three of them on a daily basis go out into the fields with their vehicle, which is packed in this way, um, and set up in various locations. Here, being able to set up and have a lot of people come to you, the numbers you can screen end up being a lot more in terms of the numbers that you have being run on a, a point-of-care gene expert test. It really is remarkable to me, if you reflect, um, that the number of people who died of TB in South Africa increased from 58,000 people in 2019 to an estimated 61,000 in 2020. So that translates to 167 people dying every day from a completely preventable and curable disease. So this partnership and the donation of Novartis is important to contribute towards finding the missing people with TB. Going forward, they are very important, these collaborations, because we have to work together, supporting each other. Without collaborations, we are not, not going to go far as a government. Because as we have heard that the partners, I mean the private sector, they are more innovative, got innovative ways of doing this because they do have the funds to do that. South Africans have a marvelous way of being able to collaborate when they know that the cause for which we all pulling towards is a worthy cause. This involves many of our staff who actually are embedded in the community so that the decisions we make are not on participants and patients' behalves. The decisions are made by the participants and patients and they guide us in the lead of how we should be doing this. It's 110 years since the Faculty of Health Sciences has been established and it's an important moment to engage in projects such as this because they represent that nexus between the scholarship and the difference we make in our world. Now imagine being the patient who can't afford to get to treatment and you have to do it for six to nine months. So having someone come into the community to take care of those needs, this is life changing. In holding hands together, let's hope uh, we can work in unison to improve uh, TB control in South Africa and in particular uh, to fill this unmet need of finding the missing patients with TB. Thank you.